my battery degradation is happening faster than on most EVs. With what I know now, hopefully I can slow that process. Welcome to the Cobra Pit, whether you're a longtime viewer or a newer subscriber like Jacob Wolf. I see you. I appreciate every single one of you. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. When I get that all too popular EV question, how will the battery hold up over time? I can finally stop doing this. I now know how to take better care of my battery. An exciting company founded in 2020 named Recurrent reached out to me to see if I would try out a free battery performance report that would give people confidence owning and driving electric cars. So after doing some research, I jumped right in and I gave it a shot. And uh, I'm glad that I did. Some quick background on Recurrent. They have about 45 different EV models and they have over 8,500 total connected vehicles in all 50 of the United States. There is an international wait list, but it's only in the US as of now. Both lists will be in the description. They received a $250,000 research grant in 2021 from the National Science Foundation, so they have support. So an EV has a significantly lower number of moving parts than a legacy combustion engine does. But the most important and expensive part is the battery. Recurrence mission is to make EV performance, value, and long-term range more transparent. They want to get more electric cars on the road by answering that common question that I've discussed earlier. This can help people sell their used EVs for more money and more people will buy electric. So with Recurrent, I'll have a better idea about my actual real world battery range. I will know how it will change in different conditions like summer or winter and what the range will be like in three years from now. So let's jump into my data. After a quick, easy and free sign up, they actually make money by having dealers pay for anonymous bulk reports. They use telematics and multiple data points to analyze my battery health and then I start to receive monthly data reports. I have a 2020 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus that had an EPA estimated range of 250 miles. My max range on the full charge is now 222 miles, which is lower than other Tesla Model 3s in the fleet. This does concern me. It's only a two year old battery. My three year projected range is between 218 and 220 miles. Now, the more data you have, the more accurate the info will be. So I'm going to hang on to the program for a while, even though there's no obligation to stay. So looking at the charging insights, I see that the charge level that will minimize battery degradation is within 30 to just above 80%. And I know that I set my charging at 90% more often than not. The observations also represent that. I've also dropped below 30% a number of times. 66 of my 93 observations was within the target zone, but I know that I can do better. This data was eye-opening. I never really monitored how or when I charge my car, but I will now. I want to see an improvement on my next report. My wife and I will usually look at each other and ask, do we need to charge? And it usually ends with an eh. So the first thing that I will do is change my display range from miles to percentage. I know. I know, I know we don't drive in percentage, we drive in miles, but this will give me a more accurate idea of what my battery level is. I have a good idea of roughly how far I can make it to my frequent places, and when I don't, I can input it in the navigation and it'll give me an estimated percentage on arrival. The next thing I did was change my charge limit to 80%, which is more than enough for my daily commute and any extra after work errands. I'm really gonna try to charge the car before it drops below 30, but just last night I made it home with just under 30. At least now I'm more aware of how and when I charge. So I'll continue to use Recurrent to monitor my EV's battery each month to look at fluctuations or make adjustments in charging behavior. I wanna preserve this battery. Now in case I wanna sell, I can command a higher value because electric cars with good batteries are shown to sell for higher prices. You may wanna use Recurrent when picking a used EV because the dashboard's estimated range is not very accurate or you can use it when deciding to buy a lease after the lease term or to give the car back. I got the car for my long-term benefits, so I wanna make sure that it lasts as long as it can. I'll make an updated video down the line to see how much my adjustments have positively impacted my battery. I can only imagine that they will add even more detailed data down the line, but I like what I get for the low, low price of free. I'm going to add my Model X to the program and you can join the program by clicking the link in the description. And I would like to thank Recur for making this video possible. 
Recurrent will see this video at the same time as you when it's posted. All the opinions came from me. Recurrent had no input on what I said about this video. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget, Cobra told ya. All right, y'all.